So, when are you on the TV, are we? No, no, I'm going to be reading out the news on the TV. You're going back in the green room. Swear, swear. Look, Madge, you're only here because someone had to pet sit for you today. But I thought it was going to work with your pet stay. There's no such thing as go to work with your pet stay. Hello? She did what? All over the carpet in the producer's office. And she told them to what? No, I don't know where she learnt language like that. Oh, she's my responsibility, is she? How could you do this? I've got to read out the news any minute now. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the teleprompter I normally read from is down. So I've got to read from this printed out script. And, uh, and we are on air in three, two, one. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Channel 6 News. Hello. Right, this is my little helper, Madge. Um, so you've just met her. As I was just explaining to her, the teleprompter I normally read from has broken down. Apologies. So I'm going to be reading from this printed out script. Now, I wonder if Madge could make herself useful. Yeah, and hold the script for me. And no, I said hold the script. I did not say eat the script. I said, not everything I put in your beak is food, Madge. Delicious. I needed that to read out the news. Did you? Yeah, what did I just say? How am I supposed to read out the news now? Make something up. Make something up. Try to be a good reporter. It's my job to tell people the truth. The truth! The truth! You can't handle the truth! What movie did you parrot that from? Ah, uh, was it The Wizard of Oz? You can see what a job I have trying to get anything done when Madge is around. I, I find it so hard to concentrate. I think I had a travel report to do. The whole excess has been delayed due to the wrong kind of snow on the tracks. Madge. Be quiet. You are pushing this beyond all realms of good reason. The Toy Town Special is running a day late due to technical problems. But don't worry, kids. She's been seen heading all the rounds and going, I think I can, I think I can. Madge, I've just remembered. I had some serious obituaries to read out. There's no need to swear. No, an obituary is dedicated to somebody who's just died. Oh! You see? I can't see Dutch die for all of from Channel 6 at this rate. All the king's horses and all the king's men are called to say look, he has announced dinner this evening by Dr. Foster. I think I had a, a crime report to do too. Little Ro Peak has been suspected of insurance fraud. Claiming to have lost her sheep. She knew where to find them. I don't know what I'm going to do. I would have been asked to remain vigilant if they see a health inspector called Super Simon asking to let him chase their wear. He's a fake. Madge, I just had an idea. If you like telling stories so much, why don't you help me tell a story to the people out there? Like on Jackanory! Well, yeah, it'll be Sackanory for me if this goes wrong. Okay, but I'm going to have to hypnotise you to make sure you behave yourself. So, how are you going to do that? Okay, look into my eyes, look into my eyes, not around the eyes, look into my eyes. You're under. When I next snap my fingers, you will think that you're a chicken. I'm a chicken! Wait, how can I be a chicken? I'm too widely coloured. Unless a kid threw up a candy floss and I smashed on me. You could be a funky chicken. They're not going to make you into disco wings, are you? Not if you behave yourself. Okay, now, Chicken Licken was walking along what? Licken! Licken Chicken! You are going to make you into... No, 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 no. That's just the name of the character. Nobody is planning to eat you. Relax. Now, Chicken Licken was walking along one day when she felt a drop of rain on her head. Now, she wasn't the brightest thing around. I'm rightly coloured. Okay, she wasn't the smartest thing around. Am I not dapper? Okay, she wasn't the cleverest thing around. And she thought the drop of rain on her head was a little piece of the sky. And she reasoned, The sky is falling! The sky is falling! In the sky! Oh! Yeah, and she ran home to her mother, Henny Penny, screaming, The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Don't worry, chicken licken, said Henny Penny. I remember my training for what to do if the sky is falling. Yeah! Duck and cover! But I'm not a duck! Duck and cover in the house under the table. Duck and cover. Hello? Oh, they're, they're printing out another copy of the script. Thanks, that's great. Uh, and the engineer's on his way to fix the teleprompter. Oh, that's even better. Safe to come out, yeah. I'll let you know when it's safe to come out. Uh, yeah, I'd love a coffee in the meantime, thanks. Yeah, yeah, milk and two sugars would be lovely. And after the break, I will read out the news for you properly. 